my gorgeous little angels, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Antonia. If you'd like to come part of our magical online family, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below. Because today, you're in for some drama between me and Box Lunch. And also an amazing item. So, if you'd like to hear what's going on, then make sure you carry on watching. <laughs> So, it all begins with Loungefly, okay? So, Loungefly posted a picture of a new backpack that they were releasing, or it was a restock backpack that they've already released. I'm not, I think it's already been released and they've just got new stock in. And it was exclusive to Box Lunch. So, I've already looked at Box Lunch because there was this beautiful pin set of cocoa obviously, um, that they had, and it has all the family on, and I'm obsessed with anything to do with the family, like family pins with them are like my favourite, and it was about $27 or something like that for the pin set, but then it was also about $30 for shipping, and I was just like, I can't justify that, for all, and I mean, that's a shock for me, you know what I mean, you've seen me hauls, I justify quite a lot of things stupidly, but I, I wouldn't justify that, then I seen this bag, and I kept looking and it wouldn't ship it to me. And then I checked one day and the pins were in, in stock. The had them actually on sale. So I saved like I think like $7 on them, which was amazing. And I got this lounge flight backpack, right? Which I will show you. It is still all in its packaging. So that's the only reason I haven't whipped it out yet. So we get the confirmation email. It was also confirmed on the thing and the email. And then the next day I got an email telling me that the pins... I cancelled off my order because they're no longer in stock. I'm still livid about it. So update, uh, the pins do not come. I don't get the pins at all. Uh, well, I haven't opened the package, but I know they're not in there. Uh, because, I mean, there is, there is goodness. Box on the devil, do you know what I mean? They had a system error and it told them that there was more in stock than what there was, which goes to me because when I actually bought them, it only told me there was seven left in stock. So... It sounds stupid, but I justified the purchase because I think shipping comes to about $60 in the end. Um, and I only justified that because I was getting a mini backpack and getting the pins. This is the first ever lounge fly backpack I own. First lounge fly bag that I own. Um, I have bought a lounge fly purse, a stitch one for my best friend, Serena, but I've never bought anything for myself. Um, but... Because I've never really seen anything that I loved, loved. Like, there's ones that I do really like, and there was a certain Harry Potter one that I loved, but I haven't found it anywhere. I think it is on Box Lunch, but, yeah, we're, we're going to stay clear of them. It, only because, <laughs> then to me, it was like a pen and £119 to come out my account, and I was like, I'm not paying that for a bag. Like, I'm sorry. I hate bags, update if you don't know. <laughs> I hate bags, I hate carrying them. I hate, I just, I hate bags, right? I'm not a bad girl at all. Um, I'm a pin girl through and through. I'm not really interested in clothes and designer shoes and bags, not at all. I love it when I go out with like my nan and I get my nan to hold my purse for me because I do quite like a big purse, but like I'm just not into like designer things. I just never use them, there's no point with me. But I just made an exception for this because I don't mind a backpack. I'm always going to work. I could take it to work with me, put like my headset and stuff in. It's not really a problem. Um, but I thought I'm not paying £119 for a bag. I'm not because I know I won't really use the thing. So what's the point? So I messaged them. I was like, can I cancel my order? Like I don't understand. And if, I don't know if you've seen me on Instagram because I definitely put stories saying like, does anyone know what I can do? Um, they cancelled the pins. Now I just don't want the bag because as much as I love the bag, it can't just like just put a damper on it do you know what i mean it's like if you had a wedding cake but someone hit the wedding top us off it's not really a wedding cake anymore is it do you know what i mean like it's still a cake but it's not a wedding cake so <laughs> that's just sort of how i felt and i kept emailing them and emailed me back saying like obviously they said about the stock thing and it was a system error and they are really sorry and i was like but i just don't really want the bag and i just thought if you could cancel my order i don't understand why i can't cancel mine i understand the rights because obviously i work in a bank and i understand the rights of obviously the seller like their protection of not being able to like you just can't cancel orders like that because it's not really fair on them especially if they're setting stock aside and they're saying that they're for sale um and then obviously if they sell out which this bag is now sold out it's not a stock anymore then obviously it's not fair if they go well one is left available and people won't know that because do you know what i mean i don't understand that they can't you're not you can't cancel orders with sellers like i understand that but it was just it's like i don't i feel like a customer should have protection with things like that especially if it's international shipping if you're going to charge me 
a scandalous amount of money for shipping, then I should be able to be protected to get the items that I ordered. So that was that drama. It was like two days of stress, and I know that sounds so dramatic, and but obviously it was like it was just after I got paid, so the middle of like July, and I was just like I'd set aside that money now when I was getting them, and I was just so excited, and I don't know, I just as I said, it was just a dampener on it. So the email vaccine, we can't cancel the order. It's ordered to be in put because he hadn't shipped DC, and I thought as soon as it ships, I know that I, I, like that's it then. Because I had to look at the retaining policy, and they don't refund you for the shipping, and I was like, <laughs> what's the point then? Like I'm not gonna send it back because the whole reason I'm livered is because of the shipping. I actually want the bag, but it's like. You know what I mean? It was just like, well, if I'm going to have to pay $30 for it to be shipped to me, then I'm going to have to pay like $30 to send it back. Because um, I think it was $38 in the end for the shipping just for the bag alone. And I was just like, I'm going to pay for the bag anyway. Because the bag was like $69, I think. So I'm going to be paying for the bag to send it back and forth. There's like no point in doing that. I may as well keep the bag in the end. But they were great because obviously I was like, and I mean, I, I always try and... and I say try I always am as polite as I can be it's never the individual's fault that I'm actually speaking to if it was a system error it was a system error I'm not shouting at the system I'm not going to shout at a person doing it like I'd never do that especially because I work in a call center and I think a lot of people forget that it is an actual person behind the phone and it's not anything personal if something's not working like that's that whoever was emailing me because emails about three different people because they were the ones replying because I was just emailing box lunch in general that individual person did not sit there and stop me from getting the pins, so I'm not going to treat them like they have. Um, it was just more an inquiry, do you know what I mean? So I always try and keep polite, but some people do forget that. A lot of people, especially because of work in the bank, they just, like if a payment gets stopped, they think it's a personal thing, and it's like, I haven't personally stopped that payment. It's not personally me. Don't don't throw it at me. It wasn't me, you do know what I mean? Um, but I'm going all around the world here for this story, and I still haven't even showed the item, do you know what I mean? And we're like, what seven minutes in are we okay um but they were great and they emailed me obviously saying like they are really sorry they haven't got any pins left they won't be able to send the pins you can't cancel the order um <laughs> and that sort of it because they were like you won't obviously get charged for the pins and the shipping for that and i'm like well i'm more good than that because the pins are fully sold out and i'm not going to be able to get them and i don't even know if they ever restock I can imagine they don't, which honestly now makes me want to cry because now I can only see them on eBay for like 50, 60 pounds. So I'm like, no, I'm going to pay more than what I was to pay if I just bought them, even if they were separate. But anyway, anyway, we have the bag. The bag come. <laughs> it come today, literally. Um, and they were great because I checked obviously my bank and they actually took off the shipping charges completely for me. So they shipped it for free. Which I think was so kind. That's why I'm saying they're not the devil. It weren't their fault. And I think that kind gesture was honestly lovely. Especially because I got customs anyway. Because technically I paid for shipping at some point. But um, I think my customs was £19. Yeah, because the value of the bag was £69.90. So that was the bag. And then my customs was £19.16. I actually hate customs. You know I hate customs. Because I would have got this bag two days ago, but obviously you only pay customs and then delivered it two days later. But we have got it. I am so excited, even though I've just gone all around the world to tell you all about it. Um, I'm just gutted about the pins. If anyone knows about the pins that I'm on about and everyone ever wants to sell them for a normal price, Please let me know. Because obviously if you live in, in the US, I think if you pay like $75 that day, which this definitely exceeded, um, you had free shipping. And they were on sale. So it was just like, imagine how perfect. I think the pins would have cost like £20. So it's like, I'm not going to pay for it. Even though, as I said, you know me. And I am psychotic, especially if it's things that I want. But I just, with, with how much I've bought lately, I can't just buy that. And it's just, it's not, it's not a necessity to me. Like, even though I want them. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, so, that was a little bit of a drama story. But this, um, we can have a look together for the fit. Oh my God, it is beautiful. Oh my God, this bag makes me want to cry. So, I also feel like I know I have been like a shopaholic lately. I'm so sorry. It's like all in wrapping. So please don't mind me as a rip open. Um... And I'm hoping that you can still understand me while, while that's going on underneath. I know why I've been a crazy shopaholic lately. And, you know, it, it, it's 
I think lately in life I've felt so rubbish in myself. My weight really bothered me, which I am trying to actually do something about in like I think just over a week I've lost five pounds. So I'm really happy about that, but that's just because of how fat I am. But um I feel like going to pins, I've not really been happy in work lately. My job's really stressing me out and the job role itself, I'm just a lot of things are really bothering me lately and I think that's why I just needed to do my room and just completely change things and I know obviously I always say I haven't been the best with speaking on social media because I just find it really difficult um, sometimes just to keep on top of it's just like a lot do you know what I mean and I think buying things for me was just such an excitement and an escape and it just made me so happy even if it was just for a little bit of time it just made me so happy so I think that's what my turn to was um, but I think I've come to the realisation that this still makes me so happy and I can look at them and be happy rather than continuing to buy because it's more that I'm not enjoying what I've already bought. I'm just going on to something else and then something else and then something else and I'm spending thousands of pounds, money I haven't got to fulfil a happiness that really I need to do something about rather than just sitting here doing nothing. So, that's that little rant over. But... Obviously, you know, that my Disney collection started when I watched, sorry, the dogs inside, so the dogs barking. Please don't mind my dog. Um, is me pin collection started when I watched Kukam, and I just completely fell in love with it. And I think it's just got a really family love scent feeling for me. And I think, I just love it. It's just really sentimental to me. And even when I told my nan about what happens in the film, because my nan's never watched it, I started crying. Like, it, it just means a lot to me. So I think that's why I've gone psychotic on it, okay? So I'm just giving you a bit of backstory. I know this is a lot of talking, because we're now over 10 minutes, and you still haven't seen the bag. So let's just get onto the bag, and then we can carry on chatting rubbish. So I do apologise. It's a very, very chatty video. But this, oh my God. This is beautiful. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. So I've got this cocoa pin. Cocoa pin. Clearly, you can see I'm so used to it in a haul. A cocoa bag. So it is the Loungefly one. It says Pixar Loungefly. There in the centre. It's got Remember Me there. It's a little mini backpack. Oh, it's just stunning. I didn't even know they were all on the back. Oh, it she is beautiful. Oh, my God. I don't even want to oh my god look at the oh my god even look mm, i love these things i didn't even know that was there i love this backpack so much and obviously i know we've got a little hidden regalia oh that some of them are like embroidered in differently oh, we've obviously got the little skulls i now do you know what for a girl this really reminds me i was gonna say for a girl i was gonna say a girl who doesn't really like halloween don't hate me for it but i feel like this really gives me halloween autumn vibes but this is just a bag that i'm just gonna live by and honestly it makes me want to cry just looking at it i'm not gonna cry i need to get a grip but i honestly love it so much and as much as like it cost me i mean do you know what in the end it didn't actually cost me that much it was cheaper for me to get it with them in the end because you were so amazing taking the shipping off even with the customs i think i still only paid I say only, it's still a lot. But for a lounge by backpack, it's like a, a not crazy. I think it was. I think I paid like seventy pounds, which I know that a UK like website is gonna sell it for ninety. So I still paid cheaper then, because at the end, then I wanted to buy it off them because I thought if it's one hundred nineteen, I'm gonna save money by doing that. But I actually in the end save money by just obviously they would just kept it as it was. It does have its little tag on obviously with cocoa cd that's what i don't want to take off but i can't walk around the cocoa tank on but let's see the inside as well because i haven't obviously looked in there let's see if we've got anything on the inside let's just pull pull this out i'm so sorry this is sort of i really love chatting to you lately see this is the thing if i chat to you this way i prefer this rather than like messaging because i just feel like i just prefer chatting because i just waffle and it's just easier for me to talk i'm so sorry it's a struggle oh my god you ain't messing and we have them soft things so the inside matches the outside pretty perfectly so we've got like the little flowers and the little skulls all over it. It's really good size and it's got a zip inside. 
I'm a fan of that. Should we have a look at that? And it's obviously got the little side pouches as well, which has got the same pattern. And I would try and show you, but it's like literally so thin. I don't think I'm going to be able to. And I don't really want to see. It's a tiny bit, tiny bit. Not really, but I don't want to like bend the bags in ways she mightn't want to go. And then it's also got a. Let's just take these little salt bags out because we don't need them. There's another one here. Let's take them out. And then we also have it inside. I just think it's a really beautiful bag. And I think it's really... I say subtle. I know it's very bold with the orange. And orange isn't really what I go for. But I do also want to show you. Let me just sneak this way. <laughs> that was proper awkward. Um, but I did also get this. This piece to match. Which actually isn't really the same orange. But I'll survive. This is from Oliver Bonas. I have my driving license so let me just let me just hard air because we don't need to see that versus from it's just an amazing wallet like it's literally i mean i'm poor so i've got no money in it but it's just got all like my cards in and it's just i love purses that have like loads of little departments um so literally bought it just so i could put it in this bag that i'm obsessed with it and even though there was a bit of a story that we went on at least the bag has like a little starting its life i've got my scar you know we all have starts in life somewhere and we've got to be a bit different and i think maybe if i got it and i got the pins even though i do still want the pins it probably wouldn't have been that interesting of a story whereas at least now i know i was super excited to get it and yeah it is beautiful obviously it's got like the adjustable straps and their leather it's just a really gorgeous bag and i just that that little tiny detail of having the guitar perfect perfect so i love it i do love it but as i said if anyone has the box lunch cocoa pins and doesn't want them even though i'm on a pin band hi welcome <laughs> um but yeah i really hope that you love the bag i know they did bring out another one which is really beautiful um and it's like more like a it's got like a um, miguel and dante on and it's like split in the middle and it's got something else but i'm still because we brought that out after i got this one but i'm not gonna lie i think still think i'd pick this one every day i just love it i just really love it i love it and a bit more subtle um but yeah i'm obsessed so i'm gonna stop chatting because this has gone on for long enough and i do apologize i didn't realize i needed to talk this much um but I really hope that you did enjoy today's video. Please let me know if you love this backpack, if you own any lounge fly backpacks, if you ever bought from Box Lunch before, if just say anything, let's just have a little chat, shall we? Um, but yeah, please subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. If you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>